For the elements of group 2, also known as alkaline earth metals, it is possible to apply many of the relationships and trends explained for the alkaline metals in the previous section. This close parallelism between both groups is shown in many physical and chemical properties, and also in the different behavior of the first element of the group, although in the case of group 2, the differences of beryllium with its counterpart are even in a greater extent than that found for lithium, which is homologous. Alkaline methyls are malleable, ductile and quite brittle, and in the pure form they are silver colored with the exception of beryllium and magnesium, which are grayish. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. As it was mentioned for group 1 elements, methyls of group 2 also have a great white luster when they are freshly cut also they tannish quickly when they are exposed to the air. All elements of group 2 have two balanced electrons in the outermost electron cell and they have a great tendency to form ions 2 plus to achieve the noble gas configuration and therefore they are very electropositive methods. Even though they are less reactive than elements of group 1, they are reactive enough to be found in nature always combined with other elements usually as carbonates, sulfates and halides but never as the pure element. They react readily with water, mainly when heated. Additionally, of the group 2 methyls combined with oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur and halogens under these conditions. The alkaline earth methyls are also harder than elements in group 1, but they are softer than most of other methyls. The increase in hardness is attributed to the increase of the strength of the metallic bonding ongoing from group 1 to group 2 as a consequence to the presence of the more electrons in the outer cell in their electronic configuration. This stronger metallic bonding is also reflected in higher atomization energies and greater melting points. The alkaline earth methyls are also denser than methyls from group 1. The high density of these elements with respect to alkaline methyl it is related with their smaller size compared with that described for their neighbors in group 1, according to the increase of the effective charge in the nucleus. This reduction in size is responsible of higher values of ionization energy with an exceptionally high first ionization energy due to the presence of pair S electrons. The second ionization energy is higher than the first one and the high values of the third ionization energy prevents the formation of 3 plus ions. The higher values of the second ionization energy don't inhibit the tendency to form 2 plus ions, which are present in compounds mostly ionic in character, with the exception of covalent species in some magnesium compounds, while the chemistry of beryllium is dominated by the covalents. We can also be able to predict some trends along the group in the same way that we did with the alkaline methyls, mostly related with the increase of the size as we move down in the group. A large size implies a lower ionization energy value and indeed the ionization energies of the element decrease down the group as the radii increase. Therefore the elements become more electropositive and they increase the tendency to lose two electrons and to form two plus ions as we move down in the group. That is reflected in the standard potentials for M2 plus M couples, which become more negative down the group. All elements in group 2 occur as hexagonal closed package structures, except for barium and radium, which adopt a body scented cubic structure, as it was described for elements in group 1. The change in the structure is reflected in the decrease of the hardness as we move down the group. While beryllium has an exceptional stiffness and is able to scratch glass, beryllium is only slightly harder than lead. The most abundant elements in the group are magnesium and calcium, as is happening with the nervous in group 1, sodium and potassium. Magnesium is the eighth element in abundance on Earth, while calcium is the fifth one. Beryllium is rare in the Earth crust and its principal ore is an aluminum silicate called beryl. 
the other alkaline earth metal, strontium and barium, and respectively the 15th and the 14th elements in order of abundance. Finally, radium occurs only in minute quantities in uranium hosts. Although the compounds of alkaline earth methyls were known from ancient times, the first pure elements weren't discovered until late 18th and early 19th century. They are usually isolated by the electrolysis of their fused metal halides. Beryllium was the first element discovered in 1798 by a Frenchman named Nicolas Louis Bockelin. Also, it wasn't prepared until 1828 by Friedrich Bola. Some years earlier, at the beginning of the 19th century, it was again the English chemistry Humphrey Dave during 1808, a year later to isolate the alkali methyls, the person who first isolated magnesium, calcium, barium and strontium. The last element of alkaline earth to be extracted from this compound was radium. Marie Curie and A. Doc Devian isolated the methyl in 1910 and was named radium in allusion to its radioactivity. Radium was used unconsciously during the first decade of the 20th century as glow-in-the-dark paint. It was also used recently in some watches with hands and digits painted with paints containing radium. The fantastic blue glow of the radium was seen as harmless. The first victim of the exposure of the radioactive metal, the Nobel Prize Marie Curie, raised awareness of the danger associated with the usage of the methyl. As for the alkaline methyls, it is possible to observe emission spectra for the group 2 methyls and we can use flame tests to identify calcium, strontium and barium. In the case of beryllium and magnesium, don't color a flame because their emission lie outside of the visible region in the electromagnetic spectrum. Calcium gives an orange-red color that can be viewed as pale green through blue glass. Strontium gives a chrysum color which is seen violet through a blue glass and finally barium gives an apple green color.